Hey folks, AJ here. Today's product spotlight is on the deep soak drain and overflow made by West Brass. Very popular in a lot of deep soak Whirlpool bathtubs. We are a West Brass dealer and I want to show you how easy it is to install it in your Whirlpool tub. All right, first we're going to talk about installing the drain in the bottom of the tub. Make sure both the top and bottom of the bathtub is nice and clean and free of debris. You're going to take the female portion of the bottom end of the drain, put the gasket in between the bathtub and the drain, and hold it up to the hole. Okay, before we put the male portion into the bottom of the drain, we're gonna need to put a sealant around this collar of the drain. Some people use silicone, I like to use plumber's putty. Let me show you how to put plumber's putty on the drain. Get yourself a nice healthy piece of plumber's putty like that and you're gonna roll it in your hands like this. Once you have enough rolled out that it can fit all around the circumference of the drain, and just press it on with your fingers like that. When you get to the seam, Make sure you seam it together really good. Now with one person holding the drain underneath, you can now start to thread in the top male portion of the drain. Now they do make some drain tools that can assist you in getting it nice and snug. As you can see, that putty will then start to squeeze out of there. All that extra putty will squeeze out. You can also use a pair of needle nose pliers. Once you get it nice and snug, then you can peel off all the excess putty. All right, once you got the drain installed in the bottom of the tub, now it's time to put in the stopper. This is a toe touch stopper. Uh, it just has a spring mechanism just like this, and the gasket here is going to make the seal. Make sure when you thread it in, it's in the extended position. Just going to line up the hole, give it a turn. It's very simple to install. This drain is called a toe touch drain. All you got to do is just press down with your toe or your hand to activate it or deactivate it. If this spring or gasket would happen to go bad on your drain, these are sold separately. We do have them available on the website. All right, I'm gonna show you how to put together the overflow assembly. We're gonna start with the back side here. Comes with a gasket. Notice the gasket is tapered. You're gonna put the thicker side on the bottom. The gasket is tapered to compensate the angle of the tub so the pipe can come straight down. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to install the front overflow plate. First of all, it gets installed with the open circle in the down position. First, we're gonna take off this top trim ring. And then I'm gonna take off the interior trim ring. And now we see the exposed portion of the overflow. Now to gain access to the screws, all we got to do is just turn that dial and it's going to give us access to the first screw. Once you line up your holes, get your screw started. And then get it started again with the screwdriver. Once you got the first screw pretty snug but not all the way, we're going to rotate to get the other one started. You want to make sure there's a little bit of mobility in our cover here so you can line up the screws. Once you get it lined up, start screwing. All right, now that we've got everything assembled, I want to get you a good view and a good appreciation of what's going on with the design of this overflow and how it works as far as being a deep soak drain. When you have it set here in the down position, your overflow is gonna work just like any traditional overflow. When the water level reaches up to here, it'll go down the drain. When you set it to the half moon portion of the overflow, you're gonna notice the overflow hole now changes to a higher portion in the drain assembly, giving you about another inch of water that you can soak in while you're taking your bath. And then when you turn it to all the way closed, now there is no more overflow that is being activated in your drain. You can fill your tub up as high as you want. Of course, you don't want to fill your tub up too much, so it overflows the top rim of the bathtub and does damage to your house. Okay, now we're going to put our trim pieces back on. Notice there's a Y design on the back side, and it's going to slide into these grooves of the Y design on the housing itself. The exterior trim ring also has brackets in here that are going to fit into these slots here on the housing itself. And that's the part that does the dialing when you set your drain. When you put it on, you're going to feel that little bit of click. That way you know it's set all the way in. All right, notice the arrow indicator on our trim ring dial knob. Okay, so now we have it set down to a fully open circle. The drain is going to work like any other overflow. 
Give the dial a one-third turn up to the half moon or the half circle emblem. That way your overflow is now a little bit higher. Turn the dial one more, one-third turn to fully closed. And now you have a deep soak tub. Now let's talk about tying in all the plumbing. So the drain tee does come with the plumbing pack. You're just gonna need to cut your own pipe to fit. It's probably a good idea to glue the bottom one in first. And then at the same time, do a triple glue joint, the top one, this one, and that one all at the same time, making sure you maintain a good pitch here so all the water drains out of the bathtub. The deep soak drains are available in chrome, white, satin nickel, and oil rub bronze. And that's everything you need to know about installing this deep soak drain in your Whirlpool tub. Make sure you like and share our YouTube videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are your Whirlpool Tub Parts Authority.